हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अदेश अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स नाउ डेज वन ऑफ द मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज द सेक्शुअल हेरेसमेंट ऑफ वुमेन एंड इन द एरा व्हेन मोर एंड मोर वुमेन आर ज्वाइनिंग द वर्क फोर्स दिस प्रॉब्लम इज गेटिंग बिगर एंड बिगर एंड वी हैव सीन दैट इन द सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन फ्रीक्वेंटली क्वेश्चन आर आस्क ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक so one such case study was asked in 2019 and this case study deals with the sexual harassment at workplace so let us read the case study first an apparel manufacturing company having a large number of women employees was losing sales due to various factors the company hired a reputed marketing executive who increased the volume of sales within a short span of time however some unconfirmed reports came up regarding his indulgence in sexual harassment at the workplace after some time a woman employee launched a formal complaint to the management against the marketing executive about sexually harassing her faced with company's indifference in not taking cognizance of her grievances she lodged an fir with the police now what has been the response of the company realizing the sensitivity and gravity of the situation the company called the woman employee to negotiate in that she was offered a hefty sum of money to withdraw the complaint and the fir and also given writing that the marketing executive is not involved in this case now the question is that you have to identify the ethical issues which are involved in this case and what options are available to the women employee so friends this is a problem which many companies face in respect of the women employees and so let us first analyze the issue in detail we know that a private company basically is there to make profit the main motive of the company is to make profit and survive in business if the company makes losses it cannot survive and for that you have to sell your product it is evident from this particular case study that the sale was in a bad situation and so we need good employees who perform well in their assignment and particularly in respect of sales because sales is one of the most important task for a company and a person improving sale is highly valuable for the company because only through sale you get the revenue and only from the revenue you can make profit and pay the salaries to the employees however it is also important to know that a company like a civilized person has to also comply with all the laws of the country and they must follow the ethical standard which are required for the company now sexual harassment at the workplace is a very very serious matter which has ethical and legal ramification because to protect the honor of the women is extremely important for every organization for every society and for every country and therefore a person who is committing sexual harassment faces serious consequences he can be arrested he can be prosecuted according to the law now which law is relevant in this let us understand the provisions of the law the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act 2013 seeks to protect women from sexual harassment at their place of work we know that this law came into existence because of the all india protest which took place after the heinous crime of rape which happened against nirbhaya and this is a very very strict law so according to this particular law every employer is required to constitute an internal complaint committee at each office or branch where 10 or more employees are there and it is very much evident that in this particular case there must be more than 10 employees in this particular apparel company in addition to that there is a district officer who is required to constitute a local complaint committee at the district level and if required he can also constitute a committee at the block level now the complaint committee which is constituted here have the power of the civil courts for gathering evidence this committee looks after all the complaints which are related to the sexual harassment charges the act requires the employees to conduct education and sensitization program and develop policies against sexual harassment among other obligations and there has been a provision for penalties for the employers including the organizations and the companies if they non comply with the provision of the act they are punishable 
with a fine up to rupees 50000 rupees and that is not all if they are repeatedly violating the procedures and if they are repeatedly violating this norms which has been prescribed in the act in that situation higher penalty can be imposed on them and it can even lead to cancellation of their license and deregistration to conduct business and therefore if the company has not taken proper action when the woman employee has approached for redressal of the grievance then strict action can be taken against all the employees and top management of that company now let us understand the ethical issues which are involved in this case the important principle we have to understand is that the employer has to follow the principle of paternity to protect the honor of the woman employee because they are like the guardian of the uh, employees and therefore if there is any problem or if there is any dishonor to the employee then they must come forward and protect that honor honors cannot be purchased by any amount of money if suitable action is not taken in time it will encourage the mischief of marketing executive and encourage similar behavior by him and many other employees against the woman employee and as it has already been explained in this particular case study that a large number of employees in this particular organization are women employees and so the employer has to do his business ethically following all the legal and moral code of the country in this case it is evident that they have not taken any action against the uh, person who is harassing the woman and therefore they have broken the ethical and the legal code of the country let us now see what are the different options which are available to the woman employee who has been sexually harassed the first option is accept the offer she can accept the offer and withdraw the complaint and the fir and she can also give it in writing that the marketing executive has not involved in this particular case this can provide her immediate benefit but it will spoil her own reputation since people will know soon that she compromised her honor for money and therefore in future if she is again harassed sexually then nobody will believe on her complaint and she may further face sexual harassment in future such type of behavior by her will encourage similar behavior against other women in office by the other officials and therefore this is not the right option the second option is to pursue the case now she must pursue the case with police and get the man arrested and prosecuted we have seen that even the top executive of the companies have been arrested because the woman pursued the matter and therefore in this case she must pursue the matter with the police and get the man punished under the law she must get the employer also punished because the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act 2013 put some obligation on the employer which the employer has not fulfilled and therefore action must be taken against the employer also and she must never compromise her honor and reputation and the right course of action is that she should not compromise her honor and she must pursue the case so that such type of incident does not happen in future so friends this is about the case study and this is a very interesting case study and i would request you to write the case study answer in your own words that will help you in writing similar type of case studies in the civil services examination thank you very much